back to my channel. Today's video is another video in my Beat the Heat cooking series. If you missed any of the recent videos of this series, I will have them all linked down below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of the upcoming videos for this series. Today we are going to be making red, white, and blue shortcake. It is a fruity shortcake and it is perfect for any get-together or any holiday or just to have as a refreshing treat in the summer. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the strawberries and I'm going to clean the blueberries. Now that both the strawberries and blueberries are washed, I am going to cut all the strawberries in half. Now that we are done cutting the strawberries, we are going to add all the strawberries in the bowl with the blueberries. And we are going to mix them together. Now we are going to add a fourth a cup of sugar to the mixture. We are going to mix this all together. Now we are going to set this aside. Now we are going to take another bowl and we are going to mix together the cream cheese and our marshmallow cream. Now we're going to stir it all together. So once you're done mixing, it should look like this. Now we're going to set this aside. Now we're going to add our baking mix. You need two and one third cups of baking mix. One half cup of milk. Three tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of melted butter. Now we are going to mix this together. And mix it until it forms into dough. Now we are going to take our nine by nine square pan and we are going to spray it with nonstick cooking spray. And we are going to put the dough into the pan. Now we are ready to put it in the oven. We are going to put it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown at 350 degrees. So it is now finished baking. Now that it is finished baking, we are going to allow it to cool before we do the next steps. Now we are going to take our berry mixture and pour it over the shortcake. Make sure you save some to put on the top. Now we are going to gently press down on the berries to let the juices soak into the cake. Now we are going to take our cream cheese mixture and spread it over the berries. Now it should look like this and then we are going to add the extra berries over the top. I hope you guys are enjoying my Beat the Heat cooking series. I am having so much fun making it. We are now finished spreading the berries on the top. And all you do now is chill in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes before serving. 
So that is all for this Beat the Heat cooking series video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.